Hello class, my name is Mrs. Lawson and I am very pleased that you have come to practice math with me today. Today we are going to be doing some adding. That means we have some and we're going to get some more. But today we're not adding very much because every time we're going to be adding zero or nothing to a number. Let's take a closer look so that we understand what that means. All right, class, let's take a look at our plus zero facts. In this fact, we have zero plus zero. And so if we were to put zero or no gems on this side and no gems on that side, our answer to zero plus zero would be zero. Well, what about one plus zero? On this one, we're going to take one gem and put it on this side and no gems for that side. So one plus zero would be one. If we had two plus zero, we would have to add another gem on this side. So we have two plus nothing, zero. And two plus zero is two. If we have three plus zero, what would our answer be? You're right, it's three plus zero. What about four plus zero? I'll put another gem on this side. We have four plus nothing. We're not going to add anything to it. So four plus zero is four. In five plus zero, we're going to take another gem and add it onto this side so that we have five plus nothing, zero. Five plus zero is five. In six plus zero, we're going to take another gem and we're going to add it up here. I have one group of three and another group of three. Three plus three is six. So I have six on this side. Six plus nothing. Six plus zero is six. What if we had seven plus zero? Seven plus zero is seven. What about eight plus zero? We'd have eight plus zero is, it's just eight. And then our very last math fact, nine plus zero. Nine plus zero is nine. I bet that you can guess what 10 plus zero would be. You're right, it would be 10. What about 24 plus zero? <gasps> yes, it's 24. Or 101 plus zero. That's right, it would be 101. Hmm, let's look at this a different way. If we were looking at the math problem six plus zero, I could put six gems in this hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And no gems in this hand. And then put them together. Shake it up. How many gems do you think I have in my hand? It was six plus zero. <gasps> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus zero equals six. What about this math fact? Three plus zero. Wow, I could put three gems. One, two, three right in this hand and no gems in this hand, zero. And I could put my hands together and shake them. Shake, 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 shake. How many gems do you think I have now? Do you know how many are in my hands? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three plus zero is three. Well, let's look at this question, eight plus zero. I need to put eight gems right in my hand. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm not going to put any in this hand. Eight plus zero. And I'm going to shake them up. Shake, 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 shake. How many gems do you think I'm going to have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus nothing or plus zero is eight. Friends, isn't it easy when you add nothing to a number? We are going to learn these facts so very quickly. Let's take a look at them together. Zero plus one is one. Two plus zero is two. Three plus zero is three. Four plus zero is four. Five plus zero is five. Six plus zero is six. Seven plus zero is seven. Eight plus zero is eight. And nine plus zero is nine. The answer is always our other number. Oh, I know that you are going to do great as you practice these math facts. Thank you so very much for coming to do math with me today. I hope that you have a great day class. Bye-bye.